Hey folks, Korax here. One of my favorite mod is the Mark Bugs Wizard Apprentice Evolved. This is the version 2. I purchased this one in 2013 and within a few months purchased another. That good these mods are. The quality and attention to detail is mind boggling. These are one of the finest wave gears money can buy. Have a look at the contoured flush display, contoured buttons, they match the circumference of the tube. Ah, there are many more finer touches which makes them the highest of the high ends. And when you have the same thing going in stabilized wood, a box mod this time, you know it's time to fall in love all over again. So very 2017. So the amulet by Mark Bugs. The Amulet by Mark Bucks, Romania. Close ups? No, not me, silly. The mod. It all starts with a neat little box, my friends. Made of walnut wood, Mark Bucks logo CNC cut, lid held by two sets of magnets. The box is a class by itself. And oh, wow. On the onset, the mod is gorgeous. Satiny smooth finish, lightweight, feels almost plastic at the first look. But no, it is stabilized wood. It is an elegant piece of kit. Uniform soap bar shaped device. The body is contoured like the English alphabet D from top along its length. Some deep engravings here. Made in Romania, the Mark Bugs logo and your serial number, all CNC cut. Media blasted 510 enclosure, which is spring loaded by the way. No blinks here, the control surface is where all the magic happens. The display screen is flush mounted and no, it is not a straight cut plastic. It is contoured in the shape of the surface. Same with the three sets of buttons, made of 316 stainless steel, media blasted finish, but they are also curved at their surfaces, matching the body contour. Fascinating indeed, very mug bugs. The battery compartment, door held by four sets of magnets, and note the battery door. See the ledge going all around it, the lifted embankment, those sit atop the grooved periphery of the battery enclosure. Door rattling, not a chance. These are the signature features of Markberg's design. The workmanship is opulent. The detailing is classy. Now I do have a problem removing batteries from this device, but I'll leave it for later. The door will fit only one way, remember these are magnets. But that also keeps the outer finishing intact. The door sits flush, the body remains seamless for the most part. Size wise, I measure it at 24mm deep, 84mm long roughly and 38mm wide. Remember one side is curved like the letter D. <laughs> Here is my weather beaten vapor shark RDNA 40. At a glance, they both look pretty much the same size. But lengthwise, the amulet is approximately 2 mm longer. Mm -hmm. 
विद वाइस अबाउट फाइव एम एम स्ली कर दो डेफ्थ वाइस बोथ आर ट्वेंटी फोर एम एम हाउ एवर द आर डी एन ए फोर्टी वेज वन फिफ्टी ग्राम्स वाइल द एम्यूलेट इज जस्ट सेवेंटी फोर ग्राम्स एग्जैक्टली हाफ डेंट आई से हिट फील्स लाइट बोथ आर विदाउट बैटरीज बाय द वे The DNA board is customized with this welcome screen. Otherwise, it is the standard DNA 75. Power up down buttons. No round robining with this board. Nice bright and large OLED display though. Absolutely readable outdoors as well. The screen dims after 10 seconds of no button press. and dies down after 30 seconds of unuse and here is how it looks with an atomizer the usb interface it's a fast one i'm charging here folks and the board is updatable controllable through e scribe full features of which can be found at the evolve website i have placed this link in the description below as well here are some of the main characteristics of dna 75 it's been 2 months that i'm using this mod you must have noticed it in almost all my videos lately i took my time making this video because uh, let's hit the pros and cons First and foremost, drop dead gorgeous. This is a seriously good looking mod my friends. Minimalist design but so classy. There is something about its workmanship that strikes a chord with you immediately. And by the way, it also comes in seven colors. I like this yellow one which my daughter lovingly calls the banana mod. Ba 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 banana. Ba 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 na 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 ba 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 ba. Secondly, the weight. This thing is featherweight, folks. It's wood. Yet how Magbugs made it so light beats me. The comfort levels of holding a mod this light is anyone's guess. In fact, it is the lightest mod in my collection. With comfort it also reminds me to mention the great ergonomics of this mod The D shape is very very comfortable to hold and use It fits your palm like a glove The straight cut back end sits nicely between the folds of your fingers and the curved front end merges well with the contours of your thumb The buttons are also placed well, easy to find and fire. Overall, a total pleasure to vape with this mod. Fourthly, the details. I did mention the curved screen and the buttons, right? Man, what a tastefully done job this is. Same goes for the flush battery door, flush mounted 510 enclosure, the neatly chiseled USB port. and the deep cnc cut graphics you can feel the care the modder took to manufacture this device all markbugs products are lastly the price 300 euros shipped i think it is pretty well priced for a stabilized wood mod of this stature there are other such quality mods out there too but most of them would break your bank i think it is the cheapest tap wood high end mod in the market today heck even some tap wood knives cost more than this and now the cons by now you know i don't have cons in my videos it's not worth 
making a video if there are any major issues in the device. Not worth the time and effort. And definitely not wasting your viewing minutes. But this one has one. One con. Which I am not happy about. And that is something to do with their battery slide. You see, the compartment per se is pretty neat and clean. It's a job well done, but not so for the sled used. These terminals are the cause of my woes. These folded metal strips are a death trap for the batteries. They catch the battery sleeve and rips them off. Both sides, at both ends, like this. Let me demonstrate it. Inserting it, no problem. But when you try taking it out, your problem begins. These thought out bends are good for inserting the battery, but not for removing it. It will ruin it almost every time. It happened not once, but with multiple batteries of mine. And one ripped and shorted as well while removing it. This design of the sled is dangerous. It is a battery wrecker. Unless you keep pressing the terminals before every insertion, unless you are cautious and unless you deliberate on the process of battery removal, this will happen. Remember, you don't want to dislodge the battery from the positive end. Oh no, no. You must pull it out from the negative end. Also to add to my woes is the absence of a pull out strap in the amulet. Remember our mods are ever so competing for the smallest battery space. That strap helps. It is there nearly in all our mods nowadays, not in the amulet. And those terminals should have been like this. This battery sled is an outdated design. Unfit for such a lovely mod. This is the reason I took two months to ponder over whether to make a video of this or not. But better sense prevailed. Because of the sheer beauty of the amulet. The beauty of holding it in your hands. The classy feel you get when you touch it. That made me overlook the hassle I have popping batteries in and out of it. I have discussed this issue with both Mark and Dragos and that is another great attribute of Markbugs. Their customer service is impeccable. They stand behind their products. So I have a feeling they will be soon replacing this design of the sled. Nothing is 100% perfect, right? But the amulet is nearly perfect. And I am sure you will agree with it once you have it in your hands. Overall, like any other Markbugs product, it is top notch. Thanks for watching folks. Have a great day ahead. Bye bye. Remember, vaping is a healthier alternative. And we have the right to make that choice.